you're right on the fine line of it absolutely grenading or it's going to make the best power it can make all day long. If you look at a sled compared to a NASCAR, the power to weight ratio of a snowmobile with a turbo on it is astronomical on a 500 pound sled. When the time comes, that feeling hits you and you're in the game, you do it. When you get in the moment and get full gas and you're carrying speed in your shoot, it's like, yeah, I got enough, you just go for it. As soon as I take off and I start climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and I don't breathe until I get to the top. You're gonna go, Clayton, let her butt butt. 10 four. It's like you're 10 feet from the top or 50 feet from the top and you've got it lined up and it's just, there's no better feeling. Your adrenaline's through the roof, your arms are shaking, your hands are clenched and hand wise. There's no feeling like it, it's just the adrenaline. <laughs> Flipping a 450 pound snowmobile in the backcountry with you know, no medical on site, you don't even have service. It's a risk that people don't see from the outside. More consequence to jump as the funner it is to me. Things change second by second because you're doing 60, 70 miles an hour and some of the tops of the chutes are vertical. You don't know if you're gonna come down on a ball of wrapped up metal. The concerns that you have when you do climb them chutes is the avalanche risk. You have your body risk, your machine risk, and is the mountain safe? Are you going to come back to your family and your friends to survive another day? When it comes down to it, it's life and death. I mean, you just don't want to be that person that has to go knock on your buddy's wife's door and tell her the news that, that because of you, you didn't have the training, you let somebody die with you. We always have to have in mind that there's consequences out there. We all want to ride the next day, so it's a day-to-day -day decision that you've got to make smart. We made a group decision to not go in there because it was a bad avalanche trap, and if something would have happened, it could have been really ugly. The muscle power that it takes, the absolute perfection that they have to have with their machine to get them to do what they're doing in the trees, it's just crazy. When we're side hoeing through the trees, we just try to get into the steepest, gnarliest stuff and hope there's a way out. More than anything, I like to just lay down lines where people look at it and think, who did that? We're putting our lives on the line to show people what can be done on snowmobiles, doing bigger things all the time. get thrown into the rocks around people with broken bones and gotten really, really messed up from it. It's, it's not something we're ready to give up just because it's kind of somewhat dangerous. 